Hello everyone, uh, my name is Nonso and um, today I'll be taking you through Flexbox right? and how we can implement Flexbox for building stuff like this um, you know, in CSS the navigation panel and so um, the issue with this particular panel is that when I built it um, it was built basically on um, some sort of a, um, should I say raw code, raw CSS, everything was just, you know, put it up there, div, you know, margin and, you know, just arrange them to get something to work. But the issue with this is that when I try to check for responsiveness of the website, as we can see from inspect here, we see that once we try to check, you know, for smaller sizes like mobile phone devices, it begins to throw a lot of things flying all over the place. And so you can't really, um, select anything from here on your mobile phone. It's going to be very terrible when you're using mobile phone. So what I wanted to achieve is I wanted to see how we can create something that is not only very beautiful, you know, on web view, but also very nice and functional on mobile view, something like this. So we created this. Um, let's see how we can inspect this and see what, what it does um, compared to the other one. So you can see that in this view, I can reduce this right and you can see how it just uh how it just like folds into like a new like shape and even when i keep reducing it it folds into a better shape and so you can see that's the power of flexbox these things are boxed within a container so all the child elements are boxed within the container elements right yeah so and so flexbox gives the power to the container element to adjust you know the child element as required so we'll get right into it um, without further delay um, so basically what I have here is my I've got my HTML here um, this is all basically all that we've seen there um, without the CSS that is and so let me just give you a view so this is basically what, we, what we've got there um, this is what we have there just this with all the links and logo right and we don't really have anything else. I will share my uh, the repository with you guys so you can always view and try to work it out on your own. Um, and maybe we get something good out of that. Um, so we will come here. And what I'll do is uh, I already did it. So instead of I took a lot of time trying to you know to achieve it because of my first time designing that. And so what will happen now is I'll try to create something. Um, try to copy that so we save our time and explain. You know explicitly what each um, line of code means so that we can actually see how we work and at least get some ideas on how we can implement that for our own selves so um so this is basically the headers for html i've included the roboto family font i've included um font awesome um, font awesome helps um with our logo right we have uh, that logo actually is Something we created, you know, with actual, you know, write-ups, you know, code, and so it wasn't like an image. So it was one of them that gave us that bolt. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, the bolt thing you saw the other time. So this is from Fort Awesome. So essentially, we use that to create that magic. So um, we use that, and then we try to do some font color and all of that to create that, and then we have our list. So I'm trying to see how we can include CSS into it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go. So I've dropped um, the first one, which is the wild wild card. You call it the wild card. You just preset all elements um, within your within your CSS and your HTML. So what it does is it helps you to set everything back to a default, so you don't have um, presets you know conditions affecting your code so we've done that with margin zero no margin padding zero box sizing border box so it's fixed it's fixed to the border box and then the font family for this i put open sans as answer for we'll use robot to later on um in, in other parts of the design but that wasn't the focus for you know for the header so for many container um many container was here so what we just did was that many container is the parent, is the chief parent, you know, element because it is the parent to every other element. And so, like we said in flexbox, flexbox 
deals basically with the parent element. So the parent element will have a display of flex to create to convert that element to a flex box. So every element within that element becomes an a flex item, right? That can also be adjusted, you know, just by making changes to the flex container. So this is called the many container, as you can see. The class is many container here. I've created that here to see how we can do something something nice, you know, pattern of 40, 40 pixels. Um, display of flex, that is the core. This is command is the core thing. Flex display, it gives that display, you know, it converts that element into a flex container. So justify content, there are many, um, many, many commands um, that I cannot go through in this tutorial for sake of time. What I would say is justify content is basically, you know, when you do text justify one processors, how you put left, right, center margin, right? So this is basically justifying your, yeah, your content to the center. And so essentially what we're trying to say is um, that every item within this many container, right, will be justified to the middle. And that is that's the power of flex box, right? Instead of you saying, you know, floats right, floats left, margin zero, zero auto. You just come and say justify content center. And so because I'm very used to creating things like border, uh, it's just to give me an idea of what I'm doing. So I'll do border um, 0 0.3 rem, so it doesn't look too big. Solid, uh, heavy red. So I do that and I'll try to see how that. Uh, so you can see that in my HTML also, I have also um, linked my CSS to it. So when I try to run it, it's supposed to run, right? So, uh, so this is what I have. So basically, you can see that we still have this and this and this and this because I've not edited, you know, the the list properties. I've not set them back to to zero, and you see the underline underline under the links. So these are all things that we could do. But we can see that things are already fleshing up just by using that. So you can see this red border here is the main um, container, right? Is it? overall container that contains all the elements everything will fall in within this container and that is why borders are very important so i'll keep on going now uh i'll try and see if i can create that same same one for here um i'll create a border two here so that we have an idea of everything we're doing and why we're doing what we're doing right so we'll do this right i make it blue so we can differentiate which is the parent which is the grandchild which is a child, right? So I put the same thing here, link links, right? And I make it green. So that is what we see here. We can see that this is the grandparents, right? And this is the parent within the grandparents. And this is another parent, right? within this parent, within this parent. So it's a nested element within this, a nested element within this, and these are the children because there are no other um, items that can go in here, you know, because it's not a container, but um, a list, right, which is like, more like an element that can be used um, on its own, not for the container. So, um, so what we're, we're going to do here, we're going to see how we can edit this, you know, to look more, like that, so I'll just get that out from my already existing code. Okay, so I have put in other codes which uh, represent the design. So we can see that this um, this particular portfolio has a class of new, and the other ones have a class of li, which is like to denote the list. So I've done that with the list, the hover, and all of that because that's not the focus for today. I've tried to make sure that I just put that down. But I'll share my code um, just in case you want to see how it runs. And then we can all come back and see what happens here. So we can see that this has been set. And this is already giving um, uh, a, an effect. I'm going to go back to my code now and insert everything so that all of this will change. And you know, it's already giving an effect. But we can still see the bullets, which is uh, the, the, 
the result of the unordered list and the primary elements and the primary features, right? The correlation has not been removed. But you can see the underline from the A, that is the, the link tags, you know, have been removed also. So I'll put all the, I'll put all the items into it and so we can get started with our actual work. Yeah, so I've inserted all the code and basically what I've done is I've tried to put a button around them so that we can understand exactly how they function. So I'll come here and then we'll view it, right? So this is how it works. So we can see that I've put like patterns around them or, or borders. So we can see that this is the parent, right? Or this is the this is the ultimate parent. This is an a nested element within this. This is nested within this. And all of these other ones, which are dotted borderlines, are nested within this. So if we were trying to convert this to um, a container, a flex box, and convert this to a flex box, and convert this to a flex box, such that when we try to you know close this up, we can determine how this would be arranged, how this versus this would be arranged, right? And then how everything in here will be arranged under this. So about skills contact portfolio will be arranged under this, which is the links. Um, if you check uh, the code, you see that I put it on the links. This is a link um, class, um, and then the links and the and the and the logo class are both under uh, the menu class, right? And the menu class as one is under the um, the the menu parents, right? So uh, the me or the menu container class. So essentially, we're trying to do it layers upon layers. And only, the only thing that cannot be converted to um, a flex box is this particular text because it does not have, it is not a parent. But as long as the parent class, it can be converted to a flex box and then we can preset how we want the elements within to be arranged on shrinking, enlarging, and even on the, on the web display. So we're going to go back to our code base now and, uh, and see what we have done. Yeah, so um, we discussed the merging, we discussed the menu container, which is red. We can see red, and we can see that it's a red here. Um, and that is what we have here. So um, we also have uh, the blue here, and then we can see what the blue means. So we can see that the blue is for the menu. You can see the brown is for the links, the green is for the list. Um, this is a brown is for the link. And then this is for the listed item, which you you know edited with CSS. So essentially, what we're doing now is we're trying to make sure that uh, we get things right. So what we what we've done now is say okay for the menu, right? For every item in the menu, you want to make the menu part in 40 pixels, and we know how it works. With this is shorthand, right? So 40 pixels is 40 up down, zero left right, right? So we can see that at work, or is it 40, sorry, 40 left, right, zero, top down. And the display is flex. This display flex is how we set the flex um, box, you know, try to convert the, the container into a flex box. Bo it's a flex box. So sorry about that. So justifying the content is sent, I mean that we are taking all the content within many container and putting it at the center. So you can see it here um, that we put everything is centralized within this um, within this box centralized and then we can move over to the next piece of code and then we we'll see that the next one has um, justify concept space between so space between is just a command that says every item within this particular um, parent which is particular flex box should have um, spaces between them, right? And the, the, the space between them does not apply to both edges, just the space between the elements. So I'll just open that until we can see what I'm trying to um, explain here. Um, so in this browser, we can see that this is a space between, right? This is a space between. So they have spaces between, but inside this, um, we have just two elements.
Okay, so we can see that the menu container has a display of flex, the menu has flex, the link, right? The link has flex, right? Because it has um, chat elements in them, as we've seen from the from the website. The link has chat elements in them, as we've seen from the website. So this is the menu container, and this is um, the menu. This is the links, right? And so these are the three that have they have flex in them, but this doesn't have flex in it because it is what happens here. What you command here that will control this, and what you command here that will control everything here. I want you command here that will control this. So this now has two children. It has one child, right? So this menu container has one child, which is the menu. The menu has two children, which is this and this, right? And this has one, two, three, four children. So we're going to go back to our code base, and uh, I'm going to try to put some um, border in the logo also so that we have an idea of what we're doing um so um so i i named the logo a date because uh, i was trying to use the template initially and so i would just put this uh and save and see whether that works it should work okay so that is it so i'm going to delete this particular logo this logo also comes in handy later in the website um so i didn't want to redundancy also and um, the logo is also for the if it's checked the original website you can see that there was also an actual logo there um that was used um in the website so you can see this logo here which is what uh, the other logo is is actually for so um i want to take this out because we don't need it for the sake of this tutorial so we go back to here and we say okay so we're saying links now has uh, a brown border um this list is dotted green which we've seen um, in this case uh dotted green right and so what we're trying to do now is see how we can how we can place them within each other so we've said the container justify content center so we can see that it's in the center of everything this is the center of this box this center and so we can go back and say okay for this other one space between like i've said the space between would have space in between two elements right but not outside of it so it is not the space um it is just if you have two elements they will be at the two edges right just as we have in this scenario so because these are the two elements within this menu and it's space between space between means that it's going to have a space in between the two of them but both of them will be situated at the edges of that particular um, parent element so essentially we're going to i'm going to try to do something right and see just to give you an idea of what that means um so i'll go here to my um to my my code base and then i'll try to change something so it's a space between right so i can do space right around so you have to go look up read up on flexbox so to understand um the difference there are many you know the documentation is out there you would see exactly what they do and how they mean i can also drop a link um from css tricks here um just to give you an idea so if i use so you can see now in this space around the space around put the left and the right side of right of your two children which is this links and this which is uh, i'll call it date but then it's supposed to be the, the logo right of of the team flash so um i'm going to reverse that just so that we're clear um there are many there's also like um, there are about five of them, right? So it depends on which. Uh, um, so you can see space evenly, space around, space between, right? So I go back to my space between and then I save it. So it takes me back to how we were before. So I come over to links, right? And the links 
I put space around. That's the one we've checked just now. So space around. So you see that the first one was center, right? Right? So this one now for links is space around. So for this link, this is the space around. You can see the space around here, around here, around here, around here. So in between all these objects, there are spaces. Right? Right. So that's the idea behind um this um this link right so this also you might say ah, it might not be it are not equal spaces but they actually are because this is a space around this but this in itself the object exactly does not correspond to the text this is a text and this is the background right this is a color this is not the text so and that is why it's expanded over here um but essentially it fits um, um, the the objects perfectly, right? So the space around them, as we've seen in this case, um, and we will notice that even in this scenario, we will check the portfolio and see whether there's been some padding, right? Whether they shifted to the right further to allow for some more extra space. Um, I think that that might, that might have happened. Um, so I'm just going to go straight up to the um, the padding to the the button and see because uh, from the CSS there might have been some um, some maybe margin movement um, I think that was uh, what let's see the, the tag they use for it so it was called new the class was new so I'm going to check new for my classes and uh, just uh, control F uh, new to see what exactly was you know was changed so we have padding 0 0.8 where um what else was okay that's uh, for the, so it is on hover so essentially nothing really was changed except that on the that's on link which is on the state that it is right now um on the rest of the states without being clicked we it, it had a padding of 0 0.8 um rem um which is 0 0.8 rem all round right so um now that we have that we can now say um we can now go on to proceed with our 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 other um, parent elements and now this is the class element notice that it does not have this flip flex because like i said before it's a class element it does not have any other parent. it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a child element on the right and so it's a child element and not uh, a parent element so it should not have a display flex so what we'll do here now is to come over to our lists right and say okay list style type these are all you know css none that is taken at the bullet points this margin is to um to create the spacing so this is a shorthand this is for you know trouble they call it trouble c is for top r is for right b is for bottom l is for left so within two rem shift to the left right for each of the lists each item of the list um so these are all um some of the changes that we made to ensure that that has that structure so i'm going to go straight up into the into this and so these are the transitions that help so what exactly happens is because of what we created here right that's the menu container when you're shifting anything right whatever happens everything should fall within yeah the center right and that whatever you're moving in the menu right there should be a space there should be a space between items should be aligned to the center right and so these are all alignments that will stay fixed until you try to change it using either um um a this is called the um at screen right where you can identify screen sizes and say okay i want this on the screen i want that on that screen which was what we did here so with all these commands here you have exactly this right and with this you can do something like this so because of um the way everything is nested within a parent flex box not an element now but the flex box because that is converted in a display flex command um so we can now say that if you're checking for um responsiveness you will keep going right you will keep going 
and keep going until you get to the point where they they meet right when they meet they can no longer be any uh they can't go any further so after this they will actually extend you know out of the page so you have to create a new command that ensures that when it hits the maximum um the, the minimum width right you create a new command that allows for a transition like this right and as you go further you go further and then you allow for a transition like this so essentially what i did essentially was to create um like i said i created a an at right so and this is at media which is means and at media all that is all media and what max with so whenever this the screen right has a maximum width of 565 that is where the conversion the flex is still the same flex box command right so the flex wrap right of my menu and this is my menu this is my menu which is the blue the blue is my menu this is my menu container this is my menu this is my logo or dates as this is my code this exactly is my links so for my menu every item there will do what they call row what and um, I, I use flex flow which is row um row flex so um a row flow sorry um so what that means essentially is that um in my code right i've used um i've used what they call wrap sorry flex wrap wrap right um so flex wrap wrap means that um when when i get to the maximum right it wraps it up it wraps it up and what it means that it it, it it shifts and because if you notice in this element they are not one two three four five no they are two so this is one and this is one and this other one this is one two three four this four falls under this particular um um flex box so for the flex box the many flex box the blue flex box what we have here are this four so once i adjust the the command executes and then it takes me a step down um and for the other one which is when it gets lower than you know six uh 565 and goes to 400 it, and i'll create a new one where when i have my new i keep imagining because my new is this is my new my new is my button so for this button particularly i have basically to I have i need to create some space so it doesn't overlap you can see that it has a different um skill from this so it's overlap i create some border space and that's what i created here um so um sorry about that um so um so what i what i did now was i said okay for menu and for links those are for the two classes the two this is the grandparents or whatever this is the parents the flex flow should be column and wrap so it wraps it in a column like format and just like content is center so this is what it means so it means that column and wrap means that this is it in the row it's the row now but once i shift it like this it wraps up in a column right and then it centralizes it so this is center right and so basically that's how you get um the object or like this that's how you get this so initially this was set also in a row as we can see so um so let's just just look for it right so we can see that um display flex right and then we can see that um so the space around just meant um row and so what i'll do now i'll just take off all my borders so we can see a clean um, element i hope you've learned something from this video and uh, please i'm looking for more um great amazing content from sim flash all right then thank you so much for listening and for tuning in have a great day don't forget to like 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 please like uh and subscribe share yeah all right then thank you so much okay so this is the final